All right, let's look at some trig identities and verifying them. So oftentimes in calculus, you have to like rewrite trig because in certain forms you can do things and in other forms you can't. So we're basically just gonna mess with identities and get used to kind of changing things, um, like rewriting things in different forms. That'll be really useful in calculus. Um, if you took trig, you probably did a little bit of this, um, but a trig identity is an equation um, that would be true for all angles. So like sine squared plus cosine squared is always one, no matter what angle I plug in. That's what this is saying. So we're gonna start with these identities. Um, this will be good to reference. It's like our little t table of information. Um, these are all identities we've already seen. So I just kind of summarize them so we have them in a nice spot. Um, some other things we might do to simplify is maybe finding common denominators, factoring, or using conjugates. So like 3 plus i and 3 minus i are conjugates, where they're like the same but a different symbol. So trig functions can have conjugates as well. So let's just simplify and kind of see what happens. So what we're going to do is we're going to use some of these identities to simplify tangent of t plus cotangent of, cotangent of t um, all over cosecant of t. So I think the easiest identities here would be to use like the reciprocals and the quotients. So we'll use these three. Write everything in terms of sine and cosine and just kind of see where it takes us. So I don't necessarily know the correct path in the beginning. And we'll see that as we go through this section. So sine over cosine plus cosine over sine. Notice I'm using t, not x, because this, the variable here is t. And then the last one is cosecant, which is one over sine. So it'll be sine t. And so what are some algebra tricks we could use here? I'm thinking LCD would work. So if I look at all the fractions, we have cosine and sine. So LCD would be cosine of t times sine of t. So we're just going to multiply the top and bottom by cosine sine. And that's allowed as long as we do it to the bottom as well. And we'll see if this gets us anywhere. So we're going to get sine t cosine t times the LCD. And then I'm just distributing to make sure we do this correctly. Cosine over sine times the LCD. And then the bottom is 1 over sine times the LCD. Um, just to make sure you distribute it. If it's helpful for you, you can write it over 1 so you see how to cancel. A lot of mistakes, like maybe we're really good at this, but we just screw up the algebra part. So cosine, sorry about that. Cosine and cosine cancel in the first one. Sine and sine cancel, and then sine and sine. So it looks like we get sine squared plus cosine squared. That's familiar, isn't it? All over cosine. So what was sine squared of cosine squared? This is probably the one identity you want to remember because it's going to pop up so much. So that would be 1. So we'll just have 1 over cosine, which is secant. And we have simplified this crazy expression, tangent of t plus cotangent of t over cosecant of t. And it's just simply secant. So we just want to be able to simplify these. Oftentimes, we can write them in better forms. Um, so take a second to absorb this one before we do more. Um, it takes a lot of just algebra mixed with trig, so it can be a little tricky. Um, but take your time. If things get ugly, sometimes it's better to start over. Um, so we'll try more examples in the next video.